Apple is up almost 2%. Uh, finally getting some movement. I mean, it's been trading sideways for a decent amount of time now. A couple of months. Uh, it's slowly starting to creep back up. So that's a good sign. And uh, got news about Apple. So stay tuned for that. Talk about that in just a little bit. Please hit the like button. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe. And if you like my content and want to support my channel, please check out my Patreon. Apple and Epic just laid out how they're going to fight about Apple's control of the App Store. For some reason, Apple is, is a popular stock on Wall Street bets, as in like it gets a lot of mentions, but nobody really buys it. Like, I don't see anyone posting anything about gains or losses from Apple. And maybe because it's not that volatile, but I found that pretty interesting and weird. Uh, like, Apple is one of the most mentioned stocks on the forum, but yet you, you really don't see too many people actually trading it. For a while now, Epic, which is uh, a video game company, a uh, video game developing company, uh, and most famously, they have uh, Fortnite. That's their most popular game. I think they made like Gears of War and some other popular titles, but uh, definitely Fortnite is their big moneymaker right now. Them and Apple are fighting in court because Apple wants to charge uh, Epic 30% for being on its App Store, and uh, Epic found a way around it, and then Apple responded by taking Fortnite off the App Store, and uh, now they're duking it out in court. So, uh... That's the summary of how they got here, and uh, I'm going to skip over all this stuff and talk about, I'm just going to read what, what Apple argues and what Epic argues. So Apple will argue that its 30% commission is essentially the same as, on, as other online software stores like Google Play or stores for video game consoles and Apple's fee has decreased over time. It faces competition for both iPhones as well as other platforms to play games. Its App Store policies have led to a boom in the software industry and result in greater safety and security for users. The App Store is a core integrated feature of the iPhone. Using Apple Payments for digital pur purchases is a key feature. Okay, so uh, Apple's arguing pretty much that it's, it's not overcharging. It's charging around the same as everyone else. And the game should be on the App Store because of uh, safety and security. Safety and security. I don't, I don't know how true that is, <laughs> but that's what they're claiming. Okay, Epic will argue that Apple forces consumers to bear high switching costs to stop using Apple products, locking them in. As Apple has accumulated more customers and locked them in, the importance of selling software to Apple customers has grown. Apple controls the only way to install software on an iPhone through the App Store. Apple uses its app review process, which manually screens individual apps for anti-competitive purposes, removing apps for business reasons under the pretext of security. Which I just said. <laughs> Because some developers have chosen to raise iPhone software prices because of Apple's 30% fee, it causes consumers to pay more, and Fortnite is an example. So, I guess both sides has valid arguments. Apple saying it's not ripping anyone off, it's, it's pricing is competitive and fair, and the App Store is needed because safety and security. So Epic is claiming that it's, it's all a racket, Apple has a monopoly, and uh, they're, they're racketeering everyone, and because they have the monopoly and the power to do so. Epic is claiming uh, there's a lot of racketeering going on, and uh, Apple is, is disguising racketeering as safety and security. So there's the uh, two sides of the argument. What do you guys think? What do you apes think? Comment down below, do you agree with Apple's argument, or do you agree with Epic's argument? Let me know. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. Could you please hit the like button? Please subscribe. And if you, if you like my content and want to support this channel, uh, check out my Patreon. Link in the description below.
Diamond hands to the moon, you apes. Not financial advice. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. I see you tomorrow, guys. Peace. I'm out.